Hello folks, it's time to sing. I'm Wayne Bolson and I'd like to remind you that the psalmist says, make a joyful noise to the Lord. All people serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. So I want to welcome the members of our church, Trinity United Methodist Church, and invite our sister church, Mount Comfort UMC, as well as our family and friends. Come and spend a few minutes with me as we share encouraging scripture, a hymn story, and singing. You know, John Flood, our pastor, has been doing a yeoman's job of connecting us through his online Sunday sermons and daily devotions. We all miss gathering together in worship and Bible study, the fellowship that we have there, but we continue to worship through John's proclamation of the word and through tithes and offerings as we send them to each of our treasures in our churches. But music is another part of worship. As worship pianist for Trinity, I hope that in some way I'll be able to connect us um, with singing together, that we might experience that in unity through this program, Trinity Sings. So today is a pilot video to see if you think this is something that would work for us and keep us on the same page and just feed our spirit through singing because God calls us to do that and help us through these weeks of staying home. So be sure to let me know when the video finishes down below, make a, a note in that comment and let me know whether you think that's good or perhaps you even have some songs you'd like to see us include as we uh, in the future do maybe two or three songs. Uh, Trinity Sings is intended to be a sing-along and the lyrics will be on the screen so that you'll be able to keep up with us. And I'll be playing and leading from my piano here at home. <clears throat> what it's not is musical perfection, either for playing or for singing. And if that's what you're looking on this channel, it ain't here. As I said, we're to make a joyful noise to the Lord. That includes everybody and not just the gifted singer. And I really believe that God listens to our heart more than he does our voices. He wants us to bring our music to him. So thanks for joining me. Gather up your courage wherever you are and let's sing Trinity. Well, let's go ahead and talk about today's song, Nothing But the Blood. And you may think that's an odd selection for the season of Lent, and here we are right at the end of the season. But we, we might have become distracted, uh, but we certainly have the opportunity to observe some of its themes in very real life circumstances. In Lent, we often set a goal for our, to deprive ourselves of some valuable or needful thing. But this year we actually have needed to give up some of our freedoms, freedoms of going, of get, getting, of touching, and so on. Uh, we've been asked even to give up some of our own blood as the Red Cross has really been desperate uh, to get blood donations at this time. But in Lent, we also remember our great need for God, knowing that he is gracious and merciful. And he can meet all the needs that we have right now of what's going on throughout, as well as throughout all of uh, eternity. And it's in these times of reflection um, that we realize our own sin sinfulness. The blood of bulls and of rams in the Old Testament were never sufficient to cover all of our sins. And we read in the book of Hebrews, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed by blood. And without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness. And a Bible commentator has said the cycle went on and on, day after day, year after year, 
century after century until the precious blood of Jesus, the one and only Son of God, was, his blood was shed. Um, and in the context of the Lord's Supper, Jesus himself said, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for, the, for many for the forgiveness of sins. So we can sigh a, a breath of hope because the precious blood of Jesus cleanses the believer from all unrighteousness. Yes, the Bible promises if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So what about the hymn? Well, I want to tell you that it was written by uh, Robert Lowry. He composed both the words and the music. And uh, he lived his entire life in the 19th century. And you know, when I think of the 1800s, I can't help but think of the Civil War, of course. And so certainly Dr. Lowry knew the fear and uncertainty that we now face in the threat of the coronavirus. But doc Dr. Lowry was successful in many things. He was a popular pastor in the Northeast and he was a hymnal editor for 30 years and produced more than 20 hymnals. And he also was a professor of literature at his alma mater, which is now the Bucknell University. But through many years, he had a passion for writing hymns, and he wrote many hymns and uh, both the lyrics and the music as well. And although he considered preaching as his primary vocation, I think Dr. Lauer would be surprised to know that his, one of his best known works is this simple hymn, Nothing But the Blood. Um, it, its lyrics are simply stated in a call and response form. And musically, uh, the melody only uses five notes and it only uses two chords throughout. Um, so no doubt the power in this hymn is the statement that both young, and, both young and old alike must trust in none other than the precious blood of Jesus. So the arrangement we're gonna to use today uh, is really was intended to be a piano piece, but it's very singable. And so it'll be fun and a bit challenging uh, with the Nashville licks and ornamentations. And you know, I do well to walk and chew gum at the same time, much less play and sing as well. But let's sing with energy and rejoicing in the one who shed his own blood for all who would receive him. Join me now.
pray with me? Father God, thank you for the blood of Jesus that makes us fully acceptable in your sight, that empowers our prayers and gives us the access to your very presence. We come with hearts full of concern for ourselves and for our families, for our towns and country and the entire world. Though we know difficult days are surely ahead, we have the confidence that you will carry us through and you'll fulfill your promise to cause all things to work together for good for those who love you and follow you. So come, Lord Jesus, forgive us of all sin, the sins of that are deliberate or unintentional, known or unknown, past, present, or future. Purify our hearts and make us white as snow, for we pray in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that completes uh, our program today. Uh, I promise next time we'll talk less and we'll sing a whole lot more. And uh, so don't forget, let me remind you a few things. To leave me a comment in the box down below in the video here. And let me know whether you think this is a good connection or not. Um, and if you do, give me some ideas of uh, hymns that you would have us to sing, that song, hymns that our congregation knows. And... Uh, just give me some ideas that would work there. And then please feel free to, to uh, share this video link on whatever your social media platform is so that more of our members and friends can share with us as well. And then one more thing down below, uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right beside it and choose the word all. And that way we'll be able to notify you every time we upload, it will automatically let you know that a, uh, a new video is available and you can come share with this sing along and I hope you will. Thank you so much for doing that. And then we hope to see you next time when Trinity sings. <laughs>